Welcome back to Tamaron's Tactics. This is Dominions 4 Gameplay Tutorial Part 15. Before I press end turn and see if Utenshire does in fact attack me, I'd like to go to research and take all those points and put them back into Thaumaturgy. I might be able to get up to Thaumaturgy 5 before the end of this game, and if so, then we could use the gateway ritual to teleport a whole army right over here to Philothrus and a sneak attack, which could very, very likely be a, a, a you know, a really useful uh, option for us. We may want to do that, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and go to research, and we're going to switch it from, from enchantment down, down to thaumaturgy here, okay? So because we had 2,000 points to go on, on enchantment. So getting up to level 7, I don't think there's 10 you know 11 turns left in this game necessarily i don't think so i think i'd rather go for some more thaumaturgy and see if we can get that gateway up and running and turn what did i tell you there's a battle in the mace let's view it kind of a non-fight honestly Easy. Tavira Kalamook just group banishing them and then they're going up against javelins and arrows. It's, they have no chance there. I was hoping they would have attacked with a lot more guys. That was a kind of a small group. Which makes me wonder what's he doing with, with all those guys. We'll know in a moment when we can look at the map again. Okay, so they lost 80 and we lost 6. 6 like infantries and uh, or five light infantries and one swamp guard. Nothing, okay? Unexpected event. Rumors of a hidden site of mystical power. A man claims to have seen a fountain of fire in his dreams. Hmm. Actually, some fire gems were later found in the belly of a goat who had strayed into the wilderness. So I bet you if I took a fire, uh, a hero that had some fire magic skills to Zaburia and search, we would be able to find a hidden magic site that would produce fire gems for us. Ah, yes. You see, he went up to Fazdir. Interesting. So since he went up to Fazdir, I bet you he's wanting to go for this Deadlands throne right here is what he's trying to do, is go around me and go up to that throne. So what I think we should do is cut around behind him and just try to finish the game right now. Let's, let's do the, go to army setup. There we go. Okay, so now... Where our army is all set up, we've got that relief spell programmed in there. We're ready for a big fight, and we're going to avoid this big fight. For him to go up here, he's going to have to go up to, to Digimore, and then up to World's Teeth Mountains, and then down to Deadlands, and then c capture the throne. So that's four turns. So he's probably going to die more, I think. If we go to Dubros Flothrus and then capture the throne, that's three turns, and we'll capture it before he's able to capture that one. If instead he follows me from Fazdir to Manace, then we can maybe then we'll just be ahead of him in the race regardless. If he goes back to Utenshire, then he might be able to head us off at the pass. So let's gamble that he's not going back to Utenshire. I, I don't see why he'd go from Utenshire to Fazdir and then right back to Utenshire. So I'm anticipating that's not his pass. So I'm going to circumvent fighting that big army entirely by going to Dubros. Let's grab all of our units, including Faiz, since this is the final push here. I'm going to go ahead and give Faiz a, an order. Let's get him into the fight. He's not going to stay behind the troops anymore. Now he's going to go ahead and charge out there and try to stab some things. So Faiz, I want you to attack large enemy monsters, okay? <laughs> he's going to be brave now. He's been very brave the whole the whole game so far. And he does actually have the heroic ability of heroic strength, so he has massive physical strength. More than your standard lizard man, so he actually is probably a pretty good fighter, so he's now part of the group. Let's go ahead and move forward to uh, Dubros. The Battle of Dubros. Not much of a battle. I'm going to fast forward this fight, actually. This is going to be a non-interesting fight. We're just going to mow over that elephant there with some javelins. Oh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice javelin volley there. Oh, look at all those scorpions he summoned. Okay. 
You see this pentacle up here at the top middle of the screen. If I select that, you can see at the tooltip at the very bottom, it says relief. That's that relief enchantment that I have that's giving all of my units a, a fatigue regen. You see? Very, very good. Keeps them fighting at full strength, and our caster is able to continually cast spells that are complex. And he did go back to Utenshire. Look at that. Okay, so he's got 400 units. I have 230 or so. But my units are much better than his. His are mostly mannequins. So I'm going to go ahead and just push forward into Flow Thrust where there's also 100 more units. Oh, look, he went to Dubros. So he went in behind us. Okay, so let's view the battle. Well, that's not his whole army. Harpies are very wimpy. Very, very wimpy. They're charging us up a hill. So the fatigue should be going up a bit on the charge. It is, however, cold, so we're also fatigued more than we would normally be. So that relief spell is going to come in really handy in this, in this battle because of the temperature. That will be so helpful. It's going to completely counter the, the cold, I expect. We're getting a lot of mileage out of the banishment spell this game. Astral Healing Spell, giving back just a little bit of hit points to all of our units, which we probably sorely need at this point in the fight. Looks like some of their groups have broken in a running. left is their archers and we're going to be in melee range with their archers in just a moment and then they're going to be really really upset as long as our morale lasts just through these these arrow volleys which certainly they will because we have these snakes with us and because of our excellent leadership as long as we can do that we'll, we'll definitely be victorious on this day Probably the last big battle of this war. Again, the tactics that we've used for our army uh, placement and, and orders and all of our spell casting programs have all, all worked extremely well for us. Excellent. 
Excellent. The armies of Asphodel are routed. Now that we've de uh, defeated Philothrus, now we can go to the province where the final uh, throne is, and we can have Nuctamaron claim the throne of Ascension. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put every penny I have into defense here in this province so that if he does try to attack us here, he's going to run into an additional 30 guys. And now we press end turn. Yes, I am sure. And Nuctamaron has claimed the throne of bones. Victory. Yes. So if you started on the first video of this series, you watched me go through the setup through every step that I did throughout the entire game, and now here we are at the victory screen. I hope that I've piqued your interest in this unique and interesting strategy game. I think it's a very, very fun game, and it's definitely worth your attention. Dominions 4 Thrones of Ascension is by Ill Winter Game Design. It's available on Steam for about $35. I think it's definitely worth it. As you can see from this video, I enjoy it quite a bit. So I hope that you've learned a lot today. Again, you're watching Tamaron's Tactics. Thank you for watching.